Welcome back to another video guys, hope you're all doing well. In this one I'm going to show you a tutorial for this ship. This is a Zabek used in real life by Barbary Pirates between the 16th and 19th century in the Mediterranean Sea. In this tutorial uh, you should be able to copy these sections in uh, perfectly well using various diagrams. So the important things like the frame, the rigging, uh, the the sails to some extent should be copied in perfectly block for block. Another thing in this tutorial I'm going to show you is how to make some command block cannons for this ship. So if you want to take on the Kraken you can do so. Or if you want to battle a dragon you can also do so. So I'm going to begin with the first construction stage. Part one of this process is simply <clears throat> simply copy this plan into your game. Make sure if you don't have world edit that you begin the plan at the right level. Obviously this blue line is the water level. You can then copy this red plan. This is most of the rigging. and Make sure that you lay it on top of the original plan. Now the sail plan, this is the blue plan. Again, make sure that you're layering these plans. I've now got this green plan, so these are the shrouds. Make sure, once again, that you lay this on top. Once you've done all that, you can now begin to add the top plan. So you can see We've got a plan for the hull obviously and also some deck details. I like to start this plan just here and from here you can now begin to bring this down so that it's level with the side plan. And as you're doing this remove the, the plan. So just like this it's a very simple step. Okay, and once you've done that, you'll reach a stage like this. So I've also made some diagrams for the ribs, and once you've put those in, your ship should look something like this. There you can see there are about, what is it, six ribs, and from here you can now begin to add your own ribs, so uh, in this area you can just copy the existing rib, just like this. Uh, if you're in an area like this, you'll have to make your own. So try to copy the existing shape and make these ribs every three or four blocks. I think for this example I'm using every every four blocks, so something like that. And once you've done that all the way along, on both sides obviously, you'll reach a stage like this. Once you've reached a stage like this, you should check the curvature of the ship. It should look something like this. And from this side as well. <clears throat> from here you can now begin to stop filling out this hole. So it doesn't really matter at this stage what these shapes look like. Just make sure that these gaps between the ribs are all filled out. All along the ship. And you should reach a stage like this. So obviously this looks really jagged. Um, I'll quickly show you a diagram to show you how to transform this. So you can see from the diagram, the first one, this this uh, this model is really jagged, and we want to create those oval shaped layers that you can see in the second diagram. Obviously, this will never be perfect. It is Minecraft after all, but that's the shape that you should be aiming for, both on these layers and on the bottom layers. You should make these round as well. Okay, just like that. Fairly simple. There's one exception, this back bit should be flat, so if we get another colour, I like to use black terracotta here. You could just highlight this, go around this, um, maybe bring this out slightly, and create sort of a round shape. 
just like this. It's not too important that you get this perfect, but I'll just do this a little bit. Make sure that the back looks something like that. Maybe bring this down by one block. Okay. So something like that, and then round the rest of the hull. And you should reach a stage like this. Once again, once you're at this stage, check the curvature from this side as well. Once you've completed the hull, you can now begin to create the decks for the ship. So you can go from a stage like this to a stage like this. So you can see I've just used oak slabs. Make sure that using slabs rather than full blocks, it gives you more space in the ship and it makes the curvature of the deck uh, a lot better. You can also begin to add those details that you got from the top view. Uh, just lay those onto the top deck. You can make these stairs, obviously. Uh, just make a double stair there and then a single stair here. Obviously this bit's raised slightly. Now that you've created the top deck, you can begin to make the hold. So make some ladders around here. Uh, some stairs, I should say. And then you can add some gravel. This is the ballast for the ship. It keeps the ship in real life. It keeps the ship from tipping over. Add some weight to the bottom of the ship so it's not as easily tipped over. Then you can add these ribs in every four blocks. So a nice technique for these ribs. Uh, obviously lay some blocks there. And then with some stairs, add a top stair and then a bottom stair. Uh, a full block there and then a half slab. Creates a very smooth curve. Once you've done the decks, you can begin to add the cannon ports, as you can see, using the, the top plan, combined with the, the new deck that you've made. And you can now add the colour scheme. I'm going to give you a diagram for this to make it nice and easy. Once you've done the colour scheme, it should look like something like this. You can now begin to work on the, the front part of the keel. Once again, I'm going to use a diagram for this. I think that should make it a little bit easier. Okay, once you're at this stage, you can once again follow the diagram and hopefully make it to this stage. So one thing you can't see in that diagram, the top view. So the last two blocks should come out just like this. And then you can add a jungle trapdoor into the gap. Once you've done that, you can now begin to add some slabs on top of the ship. I'm again going to use a diagram for this. I just think it makes it a lot easier than you watching me place the blocks in game. Um, so once you've done that, you should reach a stage like this. So you can see there's a top area here. And then there are some slabs down here and then a smooth area here. <clears throat> once you've added those slabs to the ship, you can now begin to work on the, the actual cabin. So I'm going to begin here. So you've got a light block there, hopefully, from the colour scheme. Place a full block there. Now a slab. Now a full block. Now a stair. And repeat this on the other side. And in the middle. Working on the side now, so full block here, uh, two slabs here, stair, stair, okay, I can't really show you a diagram for this because it's three dimensional, I can't just show you it from one side. Once you've done that, stair here, and then full block, uh, stair, and then half slab. Then row of half slabs there and here. Oops, let me erase that slightly. It doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. It doesn't have to be the same as this block for block, um, but as long as it's quite similar, it will look good, hopefully. <clears throat> One thing I almost forgot to show you is you can, for the lower section, you can place a trapdoor there and there's some slabs right here and a full block here and then a series of slabs and then the same on the other side okay just like that so once you've done the frame you can fix the back make sure that it's nice and flat so and call it in the same 
in the same block. Uh, you can now begin to add some quartz to the, the top, so this should look like some kind of fabric to cover whoever's in the cabin. So something like that, again doesn't really have to be perfect, just make sure that's rounded. Maybe push that back slightly, so something like that. And then wall, some wall blocks, and if you've got world edits you can use this strategy so it doesn't connect to the, the adjacent blocks. Then on the back you can once again use a wall block, uh, get some spruce stairs. And whoops. Again, using world edit, you can using the replace tool. You can just stop them from being attached. Make a door for the cabin. Uh, make it right here. So bring these blocks inwards, and then make the door there. And then you can use the walls again. Um, you can make that look a little bit better. Maybe add some stairs on either side. From here, you can now begin to add some glass, so I'm going to use a beacon and some light grey glass. I like using the beacons because it adds some light into the cabin. And you can use some trap doors, so let's get some jungle trap doors and some spruce. Okay, just like that. Makes it look a little bit more, a little bit more old-fashioned with the trapdoors, I think. And then where is it? You can use a hopper. A hopper looks kind of like a support, I think. So I like to just put those in those gaps, just like that. And then your doorway should look something like this. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be the same block for block. You now make a desk. Uh, so stay there, stay here. Half slab, and then you can make a chair. Now it's a good idea to make the floor the same colour, obviously, matches the rest, the rest of the cabin. Once you've got the cabin finished, it should look something like this, obviously. Again, it doesn't have to be block for block, perfect. But um, you can now begin to start working on the spars. Now the spars are the poles that the, that the sails attach to. I'm going to begin working on this one. So I want to separate this line into, you see this line, into four segments. So I'm going to bring this out by one. Just like that. And then, it's a little bit difficult with the rest of the plan in the way. Try and avoid this. Bring this out by one, and then this out by two. Okay, just like that, very easy. Um, so basically we're creating an angle for this bar. Now for the rest of the spars, the, so the first bar, that was the first bar. The second spar should be inverted, so it should be pointing in the opposite direction. And you should make five segments, so one, two, three, four, five. And for the third spar, three segments, so one, two, three. Just like that, you don't have to get the angle perfect, but um, make sure it looks something like that. You can now start working on the sails. So using the plan, hopefully this plan makes it very easy for you. You can begin on the first sail. So I like to start it here, just inside the hull. And then you want to make a gentle curve all the way to the tip of this bar. Again, copying from this plan. Like I said, a gentle curve. And you want to take in mind where the shroud is going to go here. So don't curve it out too much, otherwise you'll have problems with the shroud. So a gentle curve, something like that. Uh, repeat the process with the, the other sails and you should reach a stage like this. So you can see a gentle curve on the bottom and on the side. Hopefully the plan that makes that very easy for you. And now you can begin to start adding some guidelines to the sails. So this is similar to the hull, except the, the shapes aren't exactly the same obviously. 
you're still trying to create a rounded shape every a rounded line every every three or four blocks. Now this stage doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I just find adding guidelines helps me slightly. You could do without this, but um, especially if you're a, if you're a new builder, this should help quite a lot. Once you've completed the guidelines for all the sails, you should reach a stage like this. Like I said, gentle curves in all, all of the lines. And you can now begin to fill these sails out. So starting with this jib sail, sail at the front. And like with the hull, it doesn't really matter too much what the shape looks like at the moment. Um, if you can, do try to get the shape somewhat correct. Um, it will make the later stage uh, a little bit easier, but um, it doesn't really matter. If you feel like you do have to cor make corrections like I was doing then, uh, feel free to do that obviously. That's just, that's absolutely normal for this stage. Once you've completed filling in the sails, I'm just going to show you a diagram of what you should aim for. So you can see the first model has really jagged layers. <clears throat> the second model has these nice round sort of oval shaped layers. So I'll just demonstrate making one sail somewhat smooth. So I'm going to begin with this. Uh, you might need to modify it quite a lot to be honest. Um, make sure that the layers are evenly spaced out. Um, but do make sure that the, the layers towards the end have more space. We want to make this look like there's a curvature to these sails. So that's fairly rounded. Just around the top there, and you can go for quite randomized patterns. Obviously, in real life, the sail will be doing all sorts of things in the wind. Unless it's completely taut, it will have some variation to it. So something like that. Uh, once you've rounded all the sails, you should get get to a stage like this. It does take quite a long time to do that. But hopefully from that short demonstration and those diagrams, you should be able to reach a stage like this. From here you can now begin to add the rigging, uh, move it to the correct place. So this is very simple. Uh, this is why I gave you the plan in the first place. And so it's quite simple for that one, uh, just from mass to mass. This one, you want to connect it to the bottom of the hull, or well, not to the bottom of the hull, to the top of the hull going to the top of the spar. Try to keep a straight line. Okay, just like that. And obviously you can delete the original plan if you feel that's necessary. So a straight line all the way down. Uh, for these ones, just attach those to the to the sail, flap to the sail, just like that. Uh, for these ones, you want to go connect them to the spar up here. So again, try to create a straight line. So once you've added in those blocks, it should look something like this. So it's a very simple process. I forgot to mention your plan is slightly different to mine, but it won't really affect this tutorial at all really. Um, so adding the shroud, or the shrouds. So you might have problems. I've started with this sail because I know this sail is going to create some issues which you may come across with your own build. So I'd like to bring it out uh, very soon. Um, you can see I'm bringing it out after two blocks on this particular shroud. Then you will need to you might need to replace some of the blocks for the sail. It is quite tricky. Uh, I don't think there's really any way around this. It just takes, you know, some effort to correct this. So make sure this line is straight. Um, it's kind of disheartening it a little bit to remove the sail, um, but it's fairly easy to correct. So you can see that line straight. Um, there is, like I say. They should come out by about two blocks just to give you a little bit more space. And then you can correct the sail by just adding in these blocks behind it. Um, this will take some time to correct. 
but it is fairly easy. It's going to take some time to perfect this again, but it's not too bad, hopefully. You can do the same on the other shrouds, so doing the one back here. Okay, just like that, that one's very easy. Once you've done the shrouds and copied them over to the other side, uh, it should look like like this. Hopefully you don't have too many problems with the sails, but don't worry if you do. Uh, you can now begin to actually add the final blocks for the rigging. I like to use spruce fences, spruce fence gates and the dark oak variants. So I'm going to begin with this shroud. Um, I'm using world edit again. Uh, you don't really have to use this, but I like the effect that world edit makes. It means that you, could, you can place these disconnected fences which looks a lot more realistic. Obviously these ropes on this particular ship wouldn't be connected in real life. So just like that, very simple. And now for the horizontal pieces, um, a little trick that I like to use, if you, if you get a regular gate like this and then you start placing it, for some reason it places open, and then if you get a fence gate by a wall, if you right click with a replace it all, or left click with a replace it all, you can then create this very nicely angled, uh, very nicely angled rope, and then obviously repeat this all the way down, and then use the same technique. Once again, use the fences on the vertical pieces, just like this and use the gates on the horizontal pieces. And if you can, use that use that angle technique, it's very nice. One last tip in regards to the shrouds, if you've got a disconnected section here, just simply use some stairs, like so, to attach it properly to the hull. Once you've done the rigging, it should look something like this. Hopefully that's quite easy. Uh, you can now begin to alter the bowsprit, make it uh, make it out of slabs rather than full blocks. I'm going to use a diagram for this, I think that's just a lot easier to work off. You can also alter this um, this pole that connects to the mizzenmast, I'm not sure what this is called. Again, I'm going to use a diagram for this. So once you've made those two poles out of slabs, you can now begin to add some detail to the, the side of the, the hull. I like to use logs for this stage, so on the cannon ports, a log either side, just like that. And then if you've got a cannon port here, uh, a slab there, uh, and then trapdoors around it. And then I like to just put two buttons, in fact, for dark oak buttons. So adds a little bit of detail on these ones, just obviously add the, the trapdoor on top and the buttons either side, just like that. <clears throat> For the anchor, I like to I like to add it here, just like that, and then three blocks down with stone. And then if we curve this correctly, well that it makes this a lot easier. Okay, just like that, and then replace this full block with a slab. Just like that, obviously a ship needs an anchor. Now I almost forgot to mention, make sure that the ship has some ladders, so some ladders there, and some ladders here. From here you can now begin to start adding some deck details. For the cannons I just like to add some supports like that. Um, if I get some jungle slabs, jungle half. Um, jungle trap doors, you can add some openings so the sailors can pass cargo from down here to the top deck or vice versa. So complete that all the way all the way along. You can add some supports to the masts. Uh, I've only added one to this mast. So full blocks around it in the corners like that. And then some trap doors. Trap doors are a very useful block. Um, I'm very glad they've added them. So you can begin now to create the lifeboat. Now this is probably harder for me to build than the actual ship that it's sitting on. Um, 
So use some stairs like this. Hopefully you've still got the plan from the top view. So the dimensions are all correct. And just like this. Okay. And then use some full blocks and then add some trapdoors to those full blocks. Just like that. Do the same on the other side. Okay, and then trapdoor on each corner and then a slab. I've actually done this quite well. It has taken me two attempts to do this though. And obviously these Bruce trapdoors there for support. Again, a very nice addition to the game. And it should look something like that. And you can now remove these stairs, just remove one side, you don't need two rows of stairs obviously. And remove this, if you've still got that. Uh, create this fence look, just like that. And then you can create a central piece, just like this. Okay. And then add some support, make sure that that looks arched. Get some walls and put those either side the center. Make sure that looks supported. You can see the cannons aren't obstructed by this. You can just go under these stairs and still fire the cannon. Going towards the back, you should make something like this. So you can see the, the rudder here. Make sure that there's a pole attaching to this rudder. I can make this properly. And then you can decorate it with some trapdoors if you feel necessary. For the rudder, make sure that you've got some pieces connected like this. Um, obviously, we don't want it to fall off the ship. To the front of the ship, you can just colour it the same as the rest of the ship if that's not already done. Uh, to make it look like the bow spirit is coming through, I just like to add like to add a block here, I think, yep, and a block there. So just make sure this looks tidy, you can add your own ideas obviously. One last thing, uh, you can make a bench here, uh, I think this is quite a nice design. It might give the sailors somewhere to sit or somewhere to store cargo, and obviously you can repeat that onto the other side. And using those stairs actually, if you've got a floating cannon, you can avoid the floating effect by using some oak stairs or whatever the um, your decking material is made out of. Use some stairs to prop that cannon up. Once you've completed all the deck details, just like this, you can now start colouring the sails in with some stripes. So beginning with this one, so starting from the front, just make some fairly organic like free floating stripes just like that and then go back and correct them, space them out a little bit okay something like that and then repeat it the same process on the larger sails I like to begin here on the sides once you've done all that you can now begin to add some water effects to the front of the ship so if I just add some I like to use these uh, these various glass blocks and mix them in with some light mix this in with some light blue as well I like to just make it up to the anchor and then this block kind of looks like a bubble uh, you want to make it look like the water's kind of frothing at the front um, if you look at a real ship that's actually traveling with some speed um, obviously the, the water does kind of froth up and make this effect so something like that, I think you get the idea. You can also alter the colour scheme for the rest of the boat, or the rest of the ship I should say, if you feel that's necessary. Another thing that you can do at this stage is just place a wall, uh, a row of walls here behind the flag, and then you can bring the flag out, make it more three dimensional. You don't have to bring it out by too many blocks, just one block there is suitable. Uh, you could bring it out by two blocks just like this. It's up to you. Once you've done all that, it should look something like this. This is one colour scheme that I quite like. 
like um, another colour scheme that I actually chose is this one, so red sails. Uh, I've actually changed the decking with some spruce wood and I've added some slabs here or some trapdoors. <clears throat> Once you complete the ship, you can add some cannons, some functional cannons if you would like to. So I like to come under the deck and add a cannon, uh, a command block here and there. So in this formation, so two blocks below and the same on this one. And if I can find it. Okay, the same on this one. Oops. Okay, just like that. And then you can do the same for the rest. Uh, I'll now enter the commands. So I've entered the commands in. The TNT should go into this one. The explosion emitter into this one. Cloud and fireball explode. You can then just add some redstone to the top, just like this. And then if you fly up, pair that part of the deck. Just add a button there. It should fire the cannon safely. If if you're on a public server or if you only have one copy of the ship, please do not use this command. If, for example, you, um, let's say if we just set it to zero by mistake, this will happen. And obviously we don't want that to happen. I'll probably put these commands in the with the world download uh, in a text document. So if you'd like to make this ship and use the cannons, you can simply download the world and copy all of these commands. This is a simple repeating setup that I've used. Um, you can see there's a, a block here, which is now pushed down, which enables this to repeat. So if we, if we start here, we fire this one off and get through. The system should repeat, as you can see, and destroy the ship. It's quite a nice effect. Um, you, for some reason, it's the same volume whether you're 10 meters away or 100 meters away. If you don't have it in render distance, you can't hear it. But again, be careful with the TNT command. You don't want to ruin your ship once you've made it. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial guys, hope it's been fairly adequate. Uh, if you have any questions obviously leave those down below. Um, obviously I'm going to leave the world download link in the description as well as the cannon, uh, command block cannon commands. Obviously you'll need separate commands for north, south, west, east facing cannons. So yeah I'll leave all that below and as usual. Thank you for watching.